New mods are constantly coming out while other ones are becoming outdated and obsolete. So I thought it was about time that I share an update with my top five mods that I am currently using and would hate to run games without. The first on my list is Carousel Combat Tracker. This one is somewhat of a newer addition to my top mods list, but I've really liked using it. I was slow to install this one because I didn't really see the value in it and how much benefit I would get from using it until I actually started using it. It is really nice to have the combat tracker automatically up at the top. It looks looks really nice on this and my players constantly are complimenting it and enjoying having it. Now, if I run a game without it, they're asking, where is it? Can I turn it on? All of that fun stuff. Something else that makes this one pretty convenient is when you hover over it, it will display some additional information like their health, their spell save DC so that you don't have to look things up or if they don't know where to look, you can just hover over the player character and it will show that. And just controlling combat without having to open up the combat tab so you can go to the next person. Uh, people rolling initiative from the top there. It just makes things a lot easier, especially for newer players because they don't have to go into the combat tab to see anything. They can just keep their chat up. So this is just a nice mod that helps speed things along. You can go in the settings and you can change what stuff is displayed. So go in there, have fun with it. And I've really enjoyed using this one. Next up, we have Dfred's Convenient Effects. I've talked about this one a lot in the past. I still use it all the time. I still love it. It's just so convenient and it works with different things. You want to use Bless, for example, you just click the button, it adds it to the character. And now whenever they roll, it will automatically add Bless. Same thing as Raging. I have a Barbarian that rages a lot. I just hit the button, it adds their Rage and then it automatically adds the extra damage whenever they do their attacks. It is very nice. Something else that I like with it is that you can create custom effects. So the exhaustion rules that I use are a lot more similar to what's going to be in one D&D. So I created all the custom exhaustion levels and now I just hit the button, it adds the exhaustion and it automatically applies the effects to the character. Convenient effects are just convenient and I really like having this mod. Next up is MIDI QOL and much like convenient effects, this is just a nice quality of life mod. I'm currently working on an entire video where I go into the settings that I use for this and how I set it up, but I'm not going to go into all of that here. So you can subscribe if you wanna see that video, but for anyone that just wants to copy my settings or see what I wanna use, I'll drop the JSON file in a pinned comment or the description below. Again, if you wanna know the specifics about why I do things or how I set it up, there'll be a whole video on that. For this next one, we have Token Action Hub. This one, again, I was a bit reluctant to install it because I didn't think that I was going to get much value from it or much benefit from it. But uh, one of the players in my open campaign that I'm running, and by open campaign, what I mean is that it's kind of like a West Marches Meet and Adventures League, where if you're on my Discord, I post a quest. And if you are free and available, you can sign up for the quest and plan it. This campaign is still pretty new, so we're still figuring out a few things. But if you're interested in checking it out or playing with me, join my Discord. Anyways, one of the players on there asked me to install it. And once I did, whoo, I see why he wanted it. It actually is very convenient. It is very helpful. I didn't realize how annoying or tedious it now feels to open up a bunch of different character sheets or monster sheets. With this, you just click on the token and it'll pop up this menu. And from there, you can click different ability checks, attacks, features, whatever. You can even remove some of the effects on them by clicking on them or right clicking deletes it off of there. Anyway, this one just really helps the games move along, helps them run smooth, and it makes my life easier as the Dungeon Master. Now, before we get to the last one, here are a few honorable mentions. These ones I'm not talking about because either I've talked about them a lot in the past or they're just not big enough to really merit a spot by themselves. For example, pop out. I love pop out. Pop out's great. Players will complain if you don't have pop out and you should be using it, but I don't think it's deserving of a spot in my top five. So honorable mentions. And the last one that I want to talk about is Monk's Token Bar. This one is really cool and offers quite a few features to include, but not limited to requesting roles from people or saves from people, blocking people from moving around when it's not their turn in combat, which is just a pet peeve of mine. I get pretty annoyed when it is not someone's turn and they're moving their token around. Anyway, also, whenever there is a player's token on the map at the bottom of the screen, you will see this thing pop up. And by default, it will typically show 
their passive perception as well as their armor class. Again, you can go into the settings and adjust what it shows, add more things, remove stuff. I really like what is there by default, and it is really nice to just be able to quickly reference it if you want to see what everyone's passive perception is, or you want to see what somebody's armor class is to know if something hits them. It's right there. The next thing about it is you can actually click it. You can also click their icon at the bottom to select the token or double click it to open their character sheets, which is also surprisingly convenient because if you're looking for someone on a crowded map, it's a really easy way to find them. Or if they're buried underneath some other tokens, again, you can easily find them. I don't know if you've noticed a theme here, most of these mods just help my games run a bit smoother, and this one absolutely does that. Makes things convenient for me so that I don't have to do as much clicking around. So those are my top five. Let me know in the comments if there are any that I didn't mention that are missing out on this list, or let me know if there's any on this list that you're now going to try out because of this video. I like to know if my videos are helping people, so I would really appreciate that. And uh, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.